get eh? my uh, subscribers, followers, and people that just watch the videos. So we're rapidly approaching. We're in the T4000. I'm working, and I just thought I needed to make a video to address a few bits and pieces. Uh, I'll get into that anyway. First of all, we're, we're approaching 5,000 subscribers. I really want to thank all of you uh, for watching, asking questions, putting in information where you do. It's, it's got the channel to where it is now. Um, my intention was to spend a lot more time with the channel than what I've so far managed to do. My excavation business has taken off. Um, can't complain, not complaining. Would never complain about something going well. The only issue is with the excavation business going well is I'm currently a little bit time poor. Um, not a big drama, but anyway, I want to thank all the subscribers, everyone that hangs around waiting for a video to pop up. Some days I make three videos in one day. Um, sometimes they'll sit there to be edited for six months. It's just, yeah, I can't dedicate full time to it. Um, but that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about ways that you can support the channel directly, indirectly, at a small cost to you, at no cost to you. So, a lot of people talk about YouTube algorithms and how, we're going down a huge hill, we're just dragging down here in first gear. You'll see that on the other channel. A lot of people talk about YouTube algorithms and how you gotta do this, or you gotta do that, and share this and like that, and watch this other video, and all that kind of stuff. I just don't wanna waste anyone's time with that kind of rubbish. If you've watched any other video on YouTube, like, you know that if you subscribe to someone, you see more of their content. So the first thing you can do absolutely for free is subscribe. If you subscribe to my videos, it, it, it helps everyone see my videos. If everyone sees my videos, more views, more clicks, whatever, it becomes revenue for me to keep the channel alive because I'm not sponsored to make majority of the content. As you can tell, 99% of it's me in the shed making a video. Um, me going, I've got this problem. Who else has had this problem? How do we fix it? That kind of thing. So, that's the way I like it. Um, evidently, Banggood jumped on board at, oh, a bit over a year ago. And they're, they're ruthless in how much they want to engage with you and send you stuff. It's awesome. They will tell you continuously, uh, what do you want What do you want to review next, or what do you want to... Uh, cooperate is normally the word they use. What do you want to cooperate on next? And, um, yeah, some of the stuff they've sent me has been awesome. Some of it's been not so awesome. The awesome stuff probably doesn't get as much limelight as the not so awesome stuff so I want to change that and there's a few things I've got to do some long-term re-reviews on um, like my whiteboard is just getting thicker and thicker and thicker with uh, video ideas for exactly that reason um, I get busy anyway I want to just say that when you hear me say go and buy that off Banggood, it's not because I'm paid to say it. If you go and buy it through my link on Banggood, I get a kickback. It's just a, it's a sales commission. It's no nasty pyramid scheme rubbish. It's I advertise for this company that's trying to break into the market. That may not always be there. They may go, we're big enough now, we don't need to give affiliate money. That being said, I've also got one for eBay. If you're about to make a substantial purchase off eBay and you really like watching my content, let me know and I can send you an affiliated link for that product and I always will for all the ones I feature. You can private message me through, um, I'm on Instagram, I'm on, I've got a Facebook page and I've also got uh, my emails publicly accessible there. It's one up the sleeve customs at Gmail. So you can quite easily get a hold of me if 
you need to to uh, get an affiliate link. If you're going to go and buy a car or something crazy like that, I'll get a kickback out of that. Which means I can then go and buy something that's not sponsored, test it, recommend it, not recommend it, whatever, for everyone. But a lot of people don't have the money to go and buy four different inverters until they find the one that's worth buying. And a lot of people really have liked my videos on showing you inverters and things like that. So that's what I really want to do. Big YouTubers like AVE, he can do that because he's got his Patreons. His Patreons allow him to buy a brand new Milwaukee chainsaw, DeWalt chainsaw, expensive gear, and tear it apart the second he gets it. If you haven't seen his content, it's well worth a watch just because of that kind of thing. My point is, I don't want to take money off you guys. A lot of people have asked me if they can donate to Patreon or how does it work, how do you do it? I don't want you to unless you feel that's your best way of contributing. If you can contribute five bucks a month on Patreon, thank you so much, I appreciate every dollar. If you buy things on Banggood, eBay, etc. Just get me to send you a link. I'll send you a link, I'll get paid, you get your thing for the same price, and we take a percentage off eBay. I thought the percentage was fairly a linear thing, but I've had $250 items go through eBay and I make like $4 on them, and then other times I'll make like $30 on them. So, I can't pick it, I don't care. I've sold like $20,000 through Banggood's affiliate thing. Uh, diesel heaters was a big thing. Yeah, anyway. What I'm saying is you don't have to give me money to support the channel, and if you want heaps more content, I'll go and start buying um, high-end inverters, things like that, low voltage gear, um, anything to do with batteries, out of 650s, e-bikes. I'll go and buy high-end stuff like that if I know that I've got the support from my, my followers. I'm not trying to burden you with anything, but I'd be much better off buying a Bobcat for this business than what I would spending $15,000 in a year, say, on buying stuff to review independently on uh, YouTube. So not, oh, and my friend Justin's gone to the trouble of, des he's in the process of continually designing, but he's designing merch for us through Teespring. So there'll be links to Teespring soon. Uh, once we get over 10,000 subscribers, we can actually set up a YouTube Teespring store thing. But anyway, long and short of it is, if you want to support the channel, want to support me, want to help out, want me to make more completely unsponsored, completely unbiased content, or you've got an idea, even if you've got an idea of what we could review, shoot me the idea. What do you want to see? What do you want to see pulled apart? Do you want to see me open up tools, gear, look inside, tell you what's what? If you're in Australia, because that's another thing a lot of my friends don't understand is there's a huge audience of mine in the US. It's like over 30%. That's just a population thing because the US is so much bigger. It's back in there. Don't worry, I haven't developed a tennis a tennis watching addiction. Um, so my friends don't understand that the US is a, is a huge contributor. So uh, the AEG power tools that I use in Australia don't mean anything to them because they're not called AEG. They're called rigid in the US. So there's things like that I really want to do more, but with winter coming, I want to be able to do more of that and less driving an excavator in the cold. Damn, this little truck's good, straight up on top of the pile. So, but long, and short of my, long and short of my story, I don't want to turn this into a big, long, never-ending rant video. I just want to say thank you. If you want to link to something, email me. For, especially for Banggood and eBay. eBay is probably the worst 
because uh, the links are generally better off being direct. Um, but like I say, happy to help anyone that uh, wants a link to a product. If you want me to recommend something to you, whatever, I'm easily contactable by email. And um, it's this online marketing part of being involved in YouTube's a uh, vital part of the uh, whole equation. If you didn't know, YouTubers with enough subscribers and that can enable monetization, they get paid for ads. You don't have to watch the ads, I don't mind if you don't, but if it helped, if, if the video you watched was good, it helped, whatever, give it a thumbs up. Write a comment, say thanks for that. I would not have any idea how many videos I've liked. I'll watch heaps of YouTube content, that's why I began making my own. And I like watching creators grow. If you guys can uh, do a little bit of that kind of work, you can help me grow. The whole channel grows, the community grows. And instead of buying $35 inverters, we might start buying some expensive ones and clones of expensive ones and then we know what's what. It's just an example. Um, I'm not going to play with that kind of stuff forever. But just a good example of what's, uh, what we can achieve. Once again, thank everyone. Um, I, I love replying to comments. I read every one of them. Uh, the diesel heater videos, even though there was lots of negative comments about trying different fuels in them and that kind of thing. There were so many comments about asking what else could I try and run this on. So I tried it. Here's what it is. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'm going to try and spend some more time with the camera. Um, I'm filming more of my excavation adventures. I filmed some videos in the truck today. I'm filming one now. Hopefully the audio is okay. Using the Hero Session 5 or whatever it is, GoPro. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video.